weekly rant. It's time. Time for my weekly rant. These fans out here tripping. These fans want these hands. These fans want these hands. Because you got to be out your mind for throwing popcorn on Russell Westbrook, you weak ass. Philadelphia 76 a fan. And allegedly, it looks like one of these New York Knicks fans spit at Trey Young. What the hell is going on between the sheets and y'all homes? What has gotten into y'all? Y'all think you think you tough. That's what that is. You think you tough. You think you won't get hit with the blicky. You think you won't get these hands put on you or get hit with the blicky. Dude who poured popcorn on Russell Westbrook, I hope you get syphilis and herpes and hepatitis B and lymphogranuloma venereum, which is a form of chlamydia that's flesh eating that will cause your body part to balloon up and die. I hope you get lymphogranuloma venereum and don't get treatment in enough time and then eat your private parts up because you shouldn't be a bitch. Yes, I said it. I hope the fan who poured popcorn on Russell Westbrook, I hope you get an STD called lymphogranuloma venereum, which is a form of chlamydia, which is an aggressive form of chlamydia, which could be flesh eaten, and you get it. You don't get treatment in enough time, and your privates balloon and die and fall off because you shouldn't be a bitch. That's the, that's the energy you get back for being a bitch. Leave people alone. I, I, I'm not understanding what happened during the game to make this sucker ass person feel like, hey, well, Russell West, Russell Westbrook did something so wrong that I got to pull some goddamn popcorn on him because I'm upset at something that Russell Westbrook did that he was supposed to do because that's his job and getting paid to do it, even though. I'm just the onlooker in here, and I probably shouldn't be in here because it's still in the middle of a goddamn pandemic. And I know I ain't got no mask on, and I'm probably one of the people who helped spread the corona around the, the goddamn country anyway. So I'm in here with all these other people with no mask on and probably don't have no vaccine. But even if you do got a vaccine, remember your dumbasses. They say just because just even if you're vaccinated, you can still pass the virus on. The vaccine don't do nothing. But help the symptoms and help keep the symptoms at a minimal, but your ass can still pass the virus on. But anywho, he think he live. He think he's somebody. He think he a man. The dude who poured popcorn on Russell Westbrook, he think he a man. And he think he cool because he poured popcorn on Russell Westbrook. You should get the shit slapped out of you. Now, they banned the buddy. I guess they banned him for life for pouring the popcorn on Russell Westbrook, but they should have let Russell go. They should have let Russell go and let Russell go and then put them paws on, buddy. Nah, dog. We don't want no apologies. We don't want none of that other stuff. You shouldn't have done it. The only course of action is these paws. You got to catch a fade for that. Buddy need to get a fade. The Philly fan need to get a fade. Somebody in Philly need to find Buddy and let him know that this is not the proper course of behavior in public. We don't care that you don't like Russell Westbrook. You don't even know that man to not like him. You don't even know that man. You just mad that he doing stuff that you can't do because you's a bitch in life. So, so many people who bitches on this episode, right? But nah, nah, 76ers fan said, 
I want to throw popcorn on Russell Westbrook. And that's going to make me feel like a man. That's going to make me feel like somebody in life because I pour a, a, a popcorn on Russell Westbrook. Yeah, and you got your ass banned and you should have got your ass Then they're going to talk about the, the fan apologized Thursday and said he had revoked the fans. Oh, the 76ers apologized uh, for the fan and said they revoked his tickets. Man, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find Buddy name. Let me find Buddy name so we can tell everybody his name. Coach ass fan going to pour popcorn on the man as he's leaving the game, going to turn the mind. His own business, leaving the game, going to going to deep decompress from the game, going out, do his thing, and live life, eating crabs, watching ladies shake it up all night. And the sis ass fan said, "I want to post some popcorn on Russell because I'm mad. I'm a grown ass man who don't have control over my emotional faculties, and because I'm a grown ass." Bitch made motherfucker with no control of my emotional faculties. I think that I'm going to throw some popcorn. The rest of this stale ass popcorn. I'm going to throw it on Russell because that's what I do. That's what being a bitch is about. Man, you a bitch. And I just said you the bitch, but you the bitch again. If you're not going to do it, if you're not gonna run up on these cats and do this in their face in the streets, don't get tough in these arenas. Don't get tough in these arenas. And y'all and y'all folk who's, who's sitting around letting stuff like that happen, fuck y'all too. Call them out. Call them out. Do shouldn't be doing that. Because we know damn well you wouldn't do that to Russell Westbrook or any of these other NBA players in real life. Y'all gonna learn, y'all fans gonna get yeah. Y'all think them the malice in the palace was enough for y'all to y'all to stop this shit. One day, one day something gonna happen. The fans gonna get really fucked up, and then the fans gonna be mad at the people. But nah, y'all keep fucking with these goddamn players. You are not a part of the game. Your your emotional investment means nothing. You pay money to see them play, they play. That's the exchange. Fuck your emotional investment. That's extra. They don't owe you that. They don't owe you nothing but the product on the field. They don't owe you nothing but playing the game. The outcome. They don't even owe you the outcome you want. They just owe you playing the game because you you paid to see them play. That's the only thing they owe you. Anything outside of that, that's your motherfucking fuck. Eat a dick if you don't like it. And all y'all fuck ass fans need to get y'all life together and get your fucking mind right. Stop that bullshit. Hey man, this is episode 29 of 